What's going on? This is Most Julius with YAG Radio. Want to do a quick video explaining the parable of Cain and Abel. So um, we're going to get right into it. So Adam represents the mind being led by Eve, which are the emotions, to eat from the forbidden tree. And this has been explained already on my channel, and I'll leave the link in the comments. So we're going to start from Genesis 3 and 16. It says, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow shall bring forth children and the desire shall be to thy husband and he shall rule over thee. So if you read this literally, God is cursing this woman because she ate an apple. And let's see what the mystery is of this parable. So I'm going to break it down from um, right here. So if you are in the Garden of Eden, you are in tune with nature, which is God. And, that, and this is what dwells inside of you. So once you let the snake tell you, your ego tell you that you are naked, which means being without, and you react, you bite the apple every time. That takes you out of being in tune with God, takes you out of being in tune with yourself. And this will birth uh, the duality, which are, again, when we say children, this is a duality that will be born inside of you of a negative and positive struggle. So this is a struggle of conflict that has been born inside of you. This is what Cain and Abel is. So we're going to go right into Genesis 4 and 1 when it says, And Adam knew his wife. Uh, Adam knew Eve, his wife, which means he's laid with her. When he said he knew somebody in the Bible, means he's laid, he laid with that person. And I have another video I'll leave in the comments about women who have laid with men being ordered to be killed and explaining what that means. So after he laid with his wife, uh, she conceived and bare Cain. So when the emotions lay with the mind, this is uh, creates Cain first. And I also have a video called... Um, explaining why God killed all of the firstborn of Egypt. And this, this will give, uh, give you a lot of enlightenment on what that really all means. All right, so, all right, so we have Cain being born. And this comes from after he laid with his wife. So again, please, please go back and watch these short videos. They're all short for a reason and they all coincide with one each other. Um, all right, so we have Cain being born. Now, after Cain is born, she says, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And in verse two, she bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of the sheep. So this is the man of the Lord, just like Jesus was a shepherd, Abel was a keeper of the sheep. And these are your thoughts. So Jesus is the good shepherd, and Cain, uh, excuse me, Abel being uh, the man of the Lord sent to her, was also a keeper of the sheep. But it says that Cain was a tiller of the ground. So what does this mean? So, I mean, we're going to get right into it. So when you go before God, remember Jesus said, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit into his stature? So if you are a keeper of the sheep, this metaphysically means you are keeping your thoughts to, you're keeping your thoughts from God. You don't bring your thoughts to God. You're metaphysically watching your thoughts when you keep your thoughts from God, when you meditate, this is a metaphysical meaning. So Cain being a tiller of the ground, and I have more videos to let you know that we are the earth. I have an Easter video that explains Genesis uh, 33 and three, or three and 33, I know it's all threes, I can't remember, I didn't write this down, so. But it says, I bow, um, bow down to the ground seven times. He bowed down to his health to the ground seven times until he came near his brother. This is uh, explained as going within yourself, going down those seven chakras, excuse me, going within yourself to find your, the true meaning, the true spirit within inside of you. So, I mean, I'll leave a link in that video, uh, in this video as well. So, uh, all right, so let me get back to where I'm at. I kind of went off from where I was. So, um, Abel is a keeper of the sheep, keeper of your thoughts, and Cain was a tiller of the ground, which brought his own thoughts to God. And this is why I have Cain in the background. You see Cain in the background uh, working. And this, this is like, if you, if you look at it literally, what, like what kind of lesson was actually being taught here? If you read it literally, that Cain gave what he had. He was a tiller of the ground, so he gave what he had to God. 
and Abel gave what he had to God, but God showed favor. So if you listen to the parable and miss the mystery, all you got was a story that God didn't accept what he had. So what kind of God are you really serving if you read these parables literally? And I mean, it's basically, this is what it is. This is what it is. In verse eight, Cain talked to his brother and slew him. So this, this child represents bad thoughts and bad desires, which gave him, which took over. It basically took over when it kills his brother, that side killed an emotion or a thought or a desire from that side of your mind took over. This is what happens when somebody gets emotional and kills someone. This is what happens when somebody get emotional and does something to react to in, in, in reaction to what happened to a thought or whatever happened that led them into an emotional outrage. This is what happens. This is, this is Cain killing today, basically. And I want to leave you with one last verse. This is in uh, Genesis 4 and 14. It says, and this is Cain speaking to God after he killed his brother. He says to um, God, he says, behold, thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid. And I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth inside of you. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. So every one of you, every single one of you, when you find that cane inside of you, it's our job to kill that, that cane inside of us. We have to meditate. We have to be better. I know I have to be better. We all have to be better. We all, and this is why I want a community of us to come together. I want to start a radio station. I have a radio station playing nothing but positive music. I have a channel putting nothing but positive, high energy. I, I want to get a community of people together. We can be there for each other and push out positive energy to each other. This is what type of people I want to surround myself with. This is why I want to build these communities together. I don't want people to follow me on my channel. I want people to be there on my channel. We can all talk to each other. We can all be there for each other. We can all build our own community. I'll build that oneness together. This is what I want to do. This is my goal. This is my passion. So I'm going to put my passion into this. I love you guys. I appreciate whoever listens to my channel. Please subscribe and please like the video. If you look at the video, if you even if you disagree, if you disagree, comment and tell me why you disagree. If you like the video, like it. It will give more people the opportunity to hear this also. If it helped you, it will help other people. This is what everything is for. We'll like nonsense, but we don't really want to see these channels grow. Like I have a lot of people subscribing to my channels, but most of my videos have one and two likes. If you love this information, if you like this information, if you think this needs to be heard by more people, then actually please like the video. Subscribe to the channel, share the video. I know a lot of people don't like to hear this, but you never know what catches people's attention. Somebody might have always wondered what the real meaning of this story was, and this might help them come closer to this oneness that we all trying to achieve. So I love you guys. Appreciate you. Check out my radio station. Check out these other videos. They're all short. I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you.